Hello and welcome back to Pico TV. Yes, you guessed it, the name is in the title. We are going to be learning about catch points and where you find them on the network. First of all, let's kick off with the products available from Pico. As you can see, Pico produces a range of streamlined left and right hand catch points for N scale to O scale, including Code 100 and Code 75 flat bottom double O scale. These catch points are working and can be operated by a Pico turnout motor, like the twist lock, should you wish to have yours operating. However, you can use them in a non-operating fashion to bring authenticity to your model railway. So what's a catch point? Catch points are also known as trap points. They are a type of turnout which acts as a rail safety device. Both work by guiding rail carriages, trucks or locomotives from a dangerous route by simply derailing them. Catch points are used where track follows a rising gradient. They are used to derail or catch any unauthorized vehicles traveling down the gradient. This may simply be that a vehicle has been accidentally allowed to run down a slope or could be a wagon that has separated from its train. Trap points are found at the exit from a siding where a secondary track joins a main line. As you can see, these are different as they are more akin to a normal set of points or turnouts with two blades instead of just one. Catch and trap points can also prevent the operation of turnout or signal maneuvers until set correctly. Their operation prevents conflicting moves with other set routes. In the USA catch points are also used less commonly, but in certain places as seen here on the Morristown and Erie Railroad in New Jersey, they can still be found. The more common practice in the USA is to use a device known as a derail. Slightly different in design to a traditional catch point, but equally as efficient in deliberately diverting a runaway vehicle should it present a danger to oncoming traffic. Derail devices are also used in the United Kingdom, but are generally found in sidings and in goods yards. The Railway Modeler magazine has produced a detailed study article on how to make your own trap points using Pico Streamline 00 scale bullhead turnouts. So look out for that article in the December 2022 edition. The use of catch points became widespread in the United Kingdom after the Abergelly rail disaster in 1868, where runaway wagons containing paraffin oil or kerosene collided with an express train. However, since the introduction of automatic brakes, which automatically stop any vehicle separated from their train were widely adopted, catch points still remain in certain places on the modern network to this day. However, today we're going to look at how to make a non-operating catch point using nothing more than a length of flexi streamline bullhead rail. However, before we start, we need the right tools to do the job and we recommend the Pico Tools Track Layers Toolset, the PT100. Plus, you're going to need some super glue. First of all, Jeff starts off by cutting approximately 16 cm length of track and removes one rail from one side. Note whether you wish to make it a left or a right hand catch point. Then, Jeff cuts approximately 8 cm off one end and cuts a fresh, longer section ready to join after the catch. Next, he gently bends the rail to an approximate angle of 5 degrees. Then, being very careful, Jeff removes three of the chairs, doing his best to remove one completely so it can be reused later. Then he files the sleeper, making sure he has a flat surface. Then Jeff gently slides the rail back through the chair and into position. Next, Jeff files the opposite length of rail 
to form a blade and then slides that into position. Next, Jeff slides the complete chair over the end of the diverging rail and glues it into position at the end of the sleeper, like this. Finally, Jeff takes a sleeper which has had the chairs removed from both ends and slides into position as a tie bar and again using some super glue fixes it in position. Once the super glue has set, Jeff is able to test using a wagon that it runs correctly. And there we have it, an authentic non-operating catch point ready to be placed on your layout. Over the years, catch points have saved hundreds of lives on the railway and stopped many incidents from becoming far more deadly. So it's incredibly important for the modeler to bear this in mind when building their model railway. So until the next time, stay safe and keep modeling.